Hi, my name is Allie Haig and this is my wheelchair lab. I was in a wheelchair for eight hours in order to experience what life is like when you have a disability. I had some preconceived notions about what this day would be like. I thought it would be nice to get pushed around in a wheelchair all day and not have to walk around campus. However, this was not the case. Life got a lot harder. I experienced a lot of architectural and transportation barriers that I had not previously expected. I also needed a lot more help and assistance with normal everyday tasks. Here are some of the things that I encountered throughout the eight hour day. Opening doors in the wheelchair was a lot harder than it usually is. You would use one hand to open the door and another to wheel yourself through. One problem that I continued to encounter was making sure that I was holding the door open wide enough that my wheelchair could fit through. Another problem that I encountered was making it over the threshold, as seen in this video to follow. Here she goes into the bathroom. The bathroom wasn't actually bad. The wheelchair accessible stall was really easy to get in and the bar went all the way across so it would have been easy to get up if I couldn't move my legs and get onto the bathroom. The only issue was washing your hands and the soap was way too far to reach. Also it was really hard to reach the handles to turn the water on and um, the paper towel rack was higher. Getting in and out of the car is a lot more difficult when you have a wheelchair to worry about. In order to get into the car, you would have to hoist yourself up onto the seat, bring your wheelchair in, and put it somewhere within the car. If you do not have help, this would be nearly impossible, especially if you are severely paralyzed. Getting out of the car, I was able to put my feet on the pedals, so it wasn't quite as difficult. However, if I were not able to use my legs, this task would be nearly impossible by myself. Crossing the street in the wheelchair was extremely dangerous. I realized that I was a lot lower than the line of sight of cars. In order to cross safely, I had to make sure to make eye contact with both cars and make sure that they were at a complete stop before I began to go. I also took quite a while to cross the street, causing more time for everybody involved. trying to get these raspberries up here but they're on the top shelf and I'm not able to reach them without standing up. If I could reach them I'd probably knock them all down. I'm able to use this grocery basket but I wouldn't be able to use a cart because I can't push and push the cart at the same time. So I'm not sure how people in wheelchairs are able to um, get a lot of groceries at once. I found that a simple task, such as getting gas, became increasingly harder in the wheelchair. I was not able to reach the credit card slot as easily as usual, as well as having to maneuver around the gas hoses.
I'm lucky that it's warm out today while I'm getting gas or else I would have to sit out here in the freezing cold because it would be too much of a pain to get back in the car and get out of the wheelchair and then get back in the wheelchair. I tried to go up the hill to the parking lot from Roberts, but I can't, so he's pushing me. You got it. <laughs> Good. It's taken me about 10 minutes to get from Roberts to the paid parking lot when it usually takes about five to get from here all the way to the police lot, so I'm pretty irritated. We're at the town and country, and we tried to park in a close spot to be able to get in, but we can't fit the wheelchair into the door, so I had to get out and walk to it. I have found that I am traveling a lot farther to get to an elevator or an access ramp than I usually would when I was walking, and I'm also having to leave earlier for my classes. This ramp is supposed to make Reed handicap accessible and I tried three times to get up and I had to lean forward so I didn't fall backwards. It was so steep. I'm going to have to take this corner a little bit wider than usual because it takes a bit to get around corners. showing braking techniques. As you just saw in the previous videos, getting around campus was a lot harder than previously expected. Some transportational barriers that I encountered were getting across the streets, getting around campus in general, and having to take a lot more time to get where I needed to go. Some architectural barriers that I encountered were having to take corners much wider than I was used to, getting over cracks in the concrete, as well as going up and down the wheelchair accessible ramps. These ramps were much too steep in order to get around easily and took a lot of time. I found these barriers to be more of an inconvenience than anything else. It took me about 15 more minutes on average to get around to the places that I usually go. I also was very frustrated by seeing people just walk easily up and down Montana Hall when it was such a struggle to get around in a wheelchair, especially up those big hills. I just left the grocery store and I noticed that people were very visibly uncomfortable with me being in a wheelchair. When I would turn down an aisle, they would turn the other way and go somewhere else and come back to that aisle later. Um, but the workers were really nice. They offered to help me and to help me grab things if I needed and they also offered me an electric wheelchair which I did not take. Um, that should be reserved for someone who actually does need a wheelchair. So, um, but they were very nice and very helpful. Something that became more evident to me as the day went on was how singled out you feel in a wheelchair. You are already a level below everyone else and are very noticeably different. The architectural and transportational barriers almost made this singling out worse. You had to go through different entrances and use special elevators and have other people help you. This is not what one wants to feel, especially when they already have a disability. I feel like a lot of changes could be made structurally and otherwise to make one who has a disability feel a lot better. I learned that having a disability would be a lot harder than one would expect. Being in a wheelchair limits the activities you can do as well as the places you can go. Around campus, a lot of the buildings only have one wheelchair accessible entrance, as well as very steep ramps to get to the elevators. I also learned that doing simple everyday tasks got a lot harder. If you did not have someone to help you, 
then it would be very hard to maneuver and live life like normal while having a disability.